Okay, hello everybody. This is going to be the first video in a playlist of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a full completion playlist of Treasure Hunter Simulator. Now, um, this uh, has been kindly provided to me by both the developer and the publisher. Uh, the developer is Drago Entertainment. The publisher is MD Games. So thank you to both of those. Um, the game is coming out on the 2nd of July 2021 and uh, as I said this code has been provided to me by the developer and publisher so again thank you. Um, it's uh, going to be priced at £8.39 or $9.99 but um, the pre-orders are up and if you pre-order it you get 20% uh, off the price. Anyway, uh, this is this has been one that I've been looking forward to jumping in and playing. But uh, before we do that, we are going to check the options. Language English, that's fine. Sound. Right, let's turn the music up. There we go. If it gets too loud, we can modify it, can't we? So. Play the game in storm mode. This will allow you to have access to jobs, but you'll have to work on unlocking maps. Play the game in exploration mode. This will block the ability to accept jobs, but you'll have access to all maps. Let's play in story mode. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm, I said, I'm assuming we are going to be running around with uh, a metal detector at first. I would guess. What can, well, this is a tutorial level. In it, we'll teach you how to play and find treasures quickly and effectively. Okay, so where's Robin Hood and where do we steal from? Right, before we do anything, options. Can I invert my option, my, my uh, thing? Okay. There is. Do be. <clears throat> Thank you for the 13 month sub. Okay, uh, it doesn't. Uh, what's unstuck mean? Oh, oh, if you get stuck, you can just press unstuck and it'll warp you back to the start. Okay. We do not have a controller option, sadly. So let's modify that, shall we? Go. Right, in inverted my Y stick. There we go, much better. This music almost sounds like Halo. I'm honestly getting massive Halo vibes from the music. And that's not a bad thing. All right, when you get close to a treasure, your detector will start em emitting a beep. I was very excited um, oh god there's graves I'm not gonna have to dig up a grave am I uh, I was very excited when this game was uh, announced
Uh, so I'm coming that coming at this in an unbiased way, cause just cause I was excited to have a, have a go at it. Um. You found a bottle cap. <laughs> oh, it's an old button. Okay, I'm, I'm not quite sure that's a treasure. Looks like a, a Victorian butt plug for a mouse. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Value. Five dollars. Yay. Well, we have an achievement. No turning back now. did say try and find the legendary item in this area with everything that you'd learned so far You want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Want the one for a treasure for me? Found a rare item. Okay. Didn't find the legendary though. How's the sound? Is this alright by the way? I wish it'd show the stuff that's on the ground. Oh that's worthless, an old needle. I wish it'd show the stuff that's on the ground, like as you're pulling it out. Unhear that this music sounds like Halo. I I can't unhear it.
And once you hear it, you can't unhear it, you know? I will say what they have done. What they've done with... Ooh, looks like a gold locket of some sort. Um, what they have done... Now, you can't see it there. Um, watch next time I dig. And what, what they've cleverly done is when you dig, instead of making a hole, it kind of... Because you're looking straight down, right? It's what they've done is they flattened it they flattened the ground and then they have that bit of ground fade out and then fade in another scene which is probably just stored under the map or something of like of like uh like the dug up ground it's very very cleverly done and you wouldn't notice if you didn't know how it was done you know what i mean i think that's how they've done it Watch it next time I find something else. Well, watch it. Watch it when I dig, dig it. You'll see what I mean. Right. Watch it as I dig now. See, it fades it out. It fades out and fades in a new screen. See how it's very 2D looking? That's how they've done it. Very, very clever. Obviously, whilst you're identifying whatever it is you found, um, it's removes the thing that's on the floor again so you see how it's like the yellowy fadey thing you see how it fades in. So I, I, I would bet that that 2D texture or whatever it is, is stored under the map, ready for it to be pulled out into use. It's very clever how they've done it. But you notice it when you know what to look for, you know? I believe that's what they've done. What was the map button? No, that was the picture. I don't want to take a picture. Oh, what, what was the button for the map? Why is there not a control option? I don't understand this. The lack of invert controls, I will say, is very disappointing. Could somebody do me a favour and see if if this ca is coming out uh, on the same day for Steam or if it's already been out on Steam? Could somebody check for me, please? Because I'm curious. No. You know what this music reminds me of? 
the tune that they have at the end of Shawshank Redemption. That's what it reminds me of. Andy Dufresne. Crawled through 500 meters of sewage pipes, stinking of shit, and come out clean on the other side. <laughs> I always forget what that quote is. That's what it reminds me of. Have I got everything? I feel a bit worried that the first place I'm digging for treasures is a graveyard. Okay, just for the sake of cure it. Ooh! I found some dead geezers gone. I bet this is going to be the legendary thing for this map. It has to be. We got buttons and coins, and then we have this. Legendary, there you go. 1855 Springfield Musket. Sweet. Uh, Mikey, would you do me a favor and see if... Um, all of the achievements on the Steam one were actually completable, please, just so I know. This is a room where you'd expect me to just sit sit in an armchair, just sucking on a pipe. It's like Elementary, my dear Dawson. <laughs> now, where's my guitar? <laughs> Toby! Toby? Would you like a trumpet? Wait, that's Basil. That's not, that's not Sherlock Holmes, that's Basil Baker Street. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm, getting my, I'm getting my movies mixed up. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm guessing this is where you store the legendary shit that you find. Okay. Ooh. photographer as well okay so how do we how do we decide where we want to go Oh, I see. Bavarian Lake. Okay. Um, Mikey, uh, if you wouldn't mind, could you uh, send me a message on Discord, please?
The second? The second what? Sorry, second game of what? Sorry, you've completely lost me. Bitte nicht verunreinigen. Is Darth still in the chat? You tell me what this is. Wait, there's a second game? Well, probably not here then. <laughs> so, I mean, as I understand it, this is the first one. And this is coming out on July 2nd. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Considering that June the 2nd is already gone. That was it, right? Find and take a picture of. Okay. Okay, so we want the, we want the three things. Okay, three pink flowers. Okay. This may take a while. a landmine. <laughs> uh, no, I found a button. Ah, useless junk. Ah well. Okay, that's an invisible wall. Mikey, you did mention that the second one was coming out soon. Well, this is the first one coming out, so it's possible that they are using this as a test to see if... Hang on, what's this flag do? Uh, no. We will skip, leave that for now. Uh, it's possible they might even bring the second one if this one sells well. Never know. Digging up the side of a hill. Okay, oh, oh that's interesting. So now it's actually showing the shit that we're digging up. Yeah, it didn't do that in the tutorial. Oh. Weird. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, look at that Fallout reference. If we wait, if we wait until at least 2077, it might be worth something though. <laughs> Fallout reference, if I do say so myself. Welcome back, Marguerite. You caught us in the middle of treasure hunting. Although, right at the moment, I seem to be just picking up bottle caps and old bullets. And whatever this thing is. to comment, Marguerite, simply because this is uh, a stream that, what on earth was that? So yeah, I, it's, it's always best if I keep my mouth shut about shit that I don't understand. <laughs> fun with this as well. I really am actually having fun with this. It's so chill. It's really, really chill. Almost like House Flipper was. Oh, an old nail. Great. Well, at least I can get a pound. Uh, not a pound, a dollar. Can we change the currency so it's pounds? I don't do dollary doos. Another nail. Could have had that yesterday, would have helped building my bloody shell. Yeah, I liked House Flipper more, but train station renovation was still enjoyable for me. flowers of some description. So I'm half expecting to turn around and see Yogi Bear threatening to steal my picnic basket. That's a fine looking picnic basket, boo boo. 
I need to stop with my shitty impressions. <laughs> Hey, hey, Mr. Rager, sir. <laughs> Alright, somebody needs to hit me before I, before I keep doing impressions. Found a thing. Flowers, aren't they? Uh, hang on, hang on. What was the button? What was the button? X button, wasn't it? Veronica Spicata. Looks like the it didn't come up though, so it must be something different. Lady Marguerite, last time we had conversations about botany, you you were scared about the uh, vagina dentata plant from La Leisure Suit Larry. I don't forget, Miss Marguerite. this time trial thing. Let's have a good look. Well, what does this say? supposed to do just leg it to the point is that what am I actually supposed to be doing a foot race is that what it actually wants me to do I don't have a jump button Was the was that what the job was? Yes, it was. Okay, moving back to where we came from then.
What it wasn't doing, okay, it didn't show me there. Or maybe it didn't, it was just under the ground. Oh, another old button. Whoopee. Well, this one's in better condition than the last one, I suppose. Eh, whatever. Five bucks is five bucks. Just don't ask the dough standing with the five bucks. If you, if you know that reference, you know that reference. Oh, hang on, I see a pink flower there. And that is, it has a camera icon. And there's one over there as well. This must be what they want us to photograph. Outstanding. Oh, hang on, there's one up there as well. I have a slight complaint that the metal detector clearly goes into the ground and for such a big thing you'd have thought you know maybe they could have adjusted that a little bit uh, that is just me being nitpicky I suppose Used to be able to see the moonwalk. Fish. I wonder if we can go fishing. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. What I can do is I could sit on this rock, hold my mine detector up, put mine detector, metal detector even, put put my phone on the end of it and just use it as a selfie stick. <laughs> the metal detector is not a selfie stick, Dwaggy. It is now. I 
if there's any sort of upgrade or something I can buy, like, for a more accurate metal detector or something. Margaret, I'm sure when you see them, they'll bring you down to earth. I can guarantee, I can guarantee you there's going to be tons of big bugs in the game, though. Shit and twice as round. <laughs> oh, I found a coin. No, nope, it's an old button again. Margaret, my only answer to that was who would want to go to Fallout 76? I'm sure plenty plenty of people would rather go to 1776 rather than Fallout 76. Uh -huh. I wish there was a mini-map on screen so we can see where we've been. I really do. A jump button. 
doesn't appear to be a stamina bar. So this is good. Seventy-five. Sweet. I'm not sure what the green and grey was behind that, but sure. Thank you. 
Um. That's another one of those tent peg things.
like another pool, right? Right, it's a draw handle. This music reminds me of Legend of Zelda or Korea Time. The forest woods. What was it? Uh, oh god, what were those woods called? Fallon Woods, I think. me out of the Twilight Princess music. Hang on. What were the woods called in the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? F ah, it wasn't Fall on Woods, it was Far on Woods. I was close. Considering I haven't played that game for like 15 years. <laughs> Stupid ten pegs. Thank you. 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's a gold coin. 120. Thank you. I'm really enjoying this, you know. It's so chill. There you go, Treasure Hunter Devs. You got a sale there, Mikey363. It looks like Marguerite uh, wants to get it as well.
Worryingly though, I did not seem a little... What did... Uh, how do I get to the tutorial thing again? Um, No, I did look at the historical object up there, did I? <laughs> yeah, House Flipper had that vibe of me while well, it's just making me own making me own uh place. Apparently, some sort of historical object, I'm guessing. Something to my something right here. There's no way we can actually get up there, is there? And from what it looks like it's giving me... Yeah, it's definitely an invisible wall. Although there is a gap here. Is this it? Now in that gap. What is that grey arrow? Oh, Draggy, that's your cursor, you idiot. See my waypoint now. Okay. Full damage, good to know. Because my dude just went for his first flying lesson. <laughs> I think I've got everything, you know. I mean, I haven't picked up a legendary item, I don't think. Did get quite a bit of stuff, though. Granted, a lot of it was shite, but... stuff. Okay, so does it automatically sell? 
Oh, okay. I have now got prestige, apparently. I was right. I can buy detect. That's a lot of things. I ah uh, see. That's the one I've got. So I bet I need to keep doing jobs, and so I can buy the okay. Look at the, the Wojtek K22H3D. That's basically the last one. <laughs> All trash items are sold. So apparently I can't sell the priceless things. Yeah, apparently you can't sell the legendaries. <laughs> Surprise there isn't an achievement for trying. Well, I could buy a new detector now. Why not? Let's see if we can go find treasures in the Alatsi Lake area. Remains of old. Oh wait, no, that's that's actually a proper job, so we want to go Gettysburg first. Do these side jobs. Looks like we're gonna go grave digging again. Yay. Yes, we quite honestly should always be wary of somebody bringing barbecue sauce to a graveyard. Just saying. Stop itching.
I don't know what Abla is. Automatic bloody lunch automation. Sounds like something I'd play. Achievements depending. Ooh, an old padlock. Still seventy five dollars. Well, they are metal. Oh, musket ball. Isn't that what that dude wanted?
Hmm. Quest complete. What was the other thing that uh, was my job here? The side job, I mean. Take a photo of the cannon entrance near the right. A dating website. Oh, okay.
Is that a moose? It sounded a bit more like a giant dying giraffe. Oh, <laughs> old hammerhead. I guess they could stop that. Thank you. 
Oh, found uh, no idea what it is. Oh, that's got to be worth something. That has to be worth something. Viking helmet horn. Huh. Oh, Marguerite needs a hug. What you do is you just run around and you're trying to uh, find treasures. Well, what promo are you working on? but you didn't answer my question. Yes, but I, I know that, but you didn't answer my question, which was, what mode are you stuck on? Okay, well, bullet mode. Uh, every hit is a one hit kill, so save your bullets and just shoot the enemies one by one. You have to do it quick enough so you keep the combo for the score. Juggernaut. If you ask, it looks like it looks like we found where Kylo Ren died. If you ask me. Possible it's if you're not getting enough points, Marguerite.
Not a problem. Let's go there then and let's just leg it up to where it is. Let's see if we can find it. Actually, before we do that, can I sell any of this stuff? Yes, I can. Can't buy the next one though, I still need more prestige. Well, oh, excuse me. Well, I know where that is, so we'll just lug it up there. Wish we could jump. Is an old rock hammer. That's what that is. Mikey, stop. hats. Oh, this one's from World War Two. Wow, he's even got authentic bloodstains. Thank you. 
That is in really good condition. Priceless. I found the pickle hub. Found a thing. I think uh, after just finding the pickle halb, I think that's uh, a good place to end this episode, don't you? Um,
I looked at that for a moment. I thought it was a bloody Wunderwaffe, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a mace. God, that's an old globe. Holy shit! <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I do want to thank both the developer and the publisher, who I mentioned earlier, for providing me a code for this. Um, as this was the first episode, um, I am going to give a review score as if it was a promo uh, video. Um, however, it is uh, it. This will carry on into a uh, full playthrough playlist on YouTube. Um, so it will be an episodic thing that I do. Um, Okay, so the only complaints that I can think of that there's no default inversion for the Y axis with the right stick in the scan. There's no controller options at all from what I can tell. Now, look, so the only options we have are sound, uh, which is disappointing. Um, graphically, it's nice. Um, I wish there was a bit more animation for pulling things out of the ground. But I can understand how with so many different items that may be harder to do. So fair enough. Um, uh, in regards to the gameplay itself, it's really chill. Um. I would have really appreciated though having an in-game mini-map which I mean so I mean if we, if we if I were to press X obviously I can't do it in this area but if I were to press X on a mission or a job or whatever you want to call it um, I'd be able to see the roots of the path that I'd taken now if I could have that in a mini-map without having to keep opening the PDA to check that would have been an enormous improvement um, other than that though I'm really enjoying this I really am so the question is looking at the top games on my list I can now see I can now ask myself if I'm enjoying it more or less Am I enjoying it more than the 9.0 games? Yes, I am. Am I in enjoying it more than the 9.1 games? Yes, I am. Am I enjoying it more than the 9.2? Yes, I am. Am I enjoying it more than the 9.3 games? Yes, I think I'll say I am. Am I enjoying it more than the 9.4 games? Yes, I am. Am I enjoying it more than the 9.5 games? Yes, but we're getting close. Am I enjoying it more than the 9.6 games? The 
majority of them, yes. Am I enjoying it as much as the 9.7 games? I mean, if I was to put this down for enjoyment, and only on enjoyment, I'd be giving it a 9.9, .9, I think. However, because of the shortcomings of the game, that knocks it down a bit, i.e. no minimap. Uh, no control inversions, which for console players are a must. You need to include that in your games. Um, I think, considering that it doesn't have the invert controls and it doesn't have a mini map, I think a fair score. Because we can go into the Xbox uh, settings and change the controller inversion manually, so that's not too big an issue, but it shouldn't be something that players have to do. Um, I think I'm going to put this on par with Chivalry 2, which I also enjoyed very, very much. So I think a fair score for this would be a 9.5. Now that's a very good score by my rating systems. And if you think of the average game score as 7, um, I think 9.5 is fair. Um, if it was unable to modify the controller inversion um, in the Xbox settings at all, um, I would be at most be giving this an 8.3, 8.2, that kind of score, because the lack of inversion would really annoy the fuck out of me, because I'm an invert player, I'm an old school gamer, so I'm an invert y-axis player. Um, again, I doubt, as uh, I think Mikey said earlier, since you're probably you're probably working on number two for the PC at the moment, I doubt that this will get patched to have a mini map added because there would have to be some brand new coding, and I can't see you guys doing that, which is a shame. But it's not that big a loss; it's just a bit of a hassle opening up the little uh, tablet thing that we have each time. So yeah, I think I will say as well, the music on each level are very enjoyable and very enjoyable to listen to and chill to. They really are. So I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10, and in my opinion, very well deserved. Anyway, thank everybody for watching. Thank you, the developer and publisher for providing me a code for this and um, we will be continuing this in the next episode so thank everybody for watching and uh, just to remind you that um, the developer was Drago Entertainment, the publisher was MD Games and it's being released on the 2nd of July 2021 for the price of 10 US dollars or your regional equivalent. Thank you again, take care of yourselves, we'll see you next time.